So I find it very interesting. I don't know if you guys saw the uh, latest election news in the Netherlands, but there's a guy named uh, Gert Wilder, and he's uh, the leader of the, the Freedom Party. And, you know, of course, the media, they're, he's, they're dubbing him as the right wing or du the Dutch Donald Trump, basically. Uh, but he won the election. Uh, so now you have a Dutch leader who's on the right and a populist. You have Georgia Maloney, who's on the right, who's also a populist. And then you also have, uh, last week, a guy named Alejandro Malay in Argentina, who won their election, also a right-wing pop uh, populist. Now that's interesting, because if you look at what's happening here in Canada and in the United States, right now, if there is an election today in the United States, it would likely be Donald Trump who wins. Right wing, although he's not a real populist, but he pretends to be a populist. So again, a kind of another right wing populist. Uh, populist. And then, of course, we have an election coming up in 2025, if not sooner, here in Canada. And who's likely to be the prime minister? Pierre Polyev, right wing populist. So it seems like right wing populism is g uh, gaining a lot of steam, uh, even in the Western world. And, you know, again, I, I made a video in the past talking about how the, the pendulum swings from right to left. Well, we've had left-wing policies for so long now, here in Canada since 2015, people are sick of it. So instead of going down in the middle, they're gonna, it's, this pendulum is going to swing from the far left to the far right. But at least it's right-wing populism this time, not just right-wing over-the-top conservatism. A conter, a conservatism, as, as they promise, that's what they are. I don't know if that, they're going to keep their promises. We'll see how it goes. But it's very clear that right now, uh, right-wing populism is the more popular uh, politician uh, the more popular politics are getting on that side of things and it's just I didn't really expect this many victories especially this early I thought it was going to take till 2024 25 26 for this to get going but people are so just sick of these left-wing policies their financial situations are getting worse and worse and worse with taxes. They went after the farmers in the, in the Netherlands. When you go after the hardworking people and you make their life harder, there's more of us than there are elitists. So we are going to vote for populism. I would personally prefer left-wing populism, but there's no option because left-wingers aren't populists. They're socialist or communist wannabes, basically. And people don't want that. Likely enough, because that would be a disaster. Now, that being said, in the 2024 American election, I've made my prediction already. I'm not changing it. I think it's going to be Gavin Newsom. I do also think that Michelle Obama has a chance. Uh, people have made, like Roger Stoney, made some very good points uh, when he was on Patrick Bet David's podcast. But it's going to be one of the two who lead the Democratic ticket. And then the other one is probably going to be the VP. That's going to be a strong team for Donald Trump to beat, especially with the mainstream media on their side. Now, it's going to be interesting to see. I don't want to make a prediction of who would win between, say, Gavin Newsom or Donald Trump, and then, throw, of course, throw RFK Jr. in the mix. But that would be a very interesting election, uh, an electoral race. Now, in Canada, it's not even going to be close, right? It's going to be Pierre Polyev. I, don't, I can't even imagine what he would have to do to screw this up. I mean, he could, invite, he could invite three Nazis into Parliament and do blackface 17 times. I don't think people would turn on him in favor of Trudeau or the NDPs. So it's interesting, and I'd like to know what you guys think as well. Do you, do you see what's happening with this right-wing populist movement? Do you agree with it? Are you worried about it? Do you think they're trying to steal democracy like the mainstream media keeps saying they are? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back shortly with another video.